Campidoglio, Roma si trasforma per quattro giorni nella capitale mondiale della democrazia diretta. Da oggi sino al 29 settembre ci confronteremo, scambieremo idee, ascolteremo soprattutto i rappresentanti di quei paesi nei quali la democrazia diretta è già realtà e ha già eh, come dire, una, un numero anche importante di esempi che possono in qualche modo essere portati e studiati per far capire come questo nuovo modello politico e sociale può consentire alla società di progredire. The good news is we are here. As we all know, tutte le strade portano a Roma. All roads lead to Rome. We are all gathering here in Rome because Rome and Italy never before in history has been as relevant to the development of modern direct democracy as today. So let us start our four-day forum here in Rome by shaking hands with the people around us and congratulating all of us to actively participate in making our democracies much more democratic. Auguri a tutti, I wish you all a great forum. We are seeing uh, a structural uh, crisis of liberal democracy and uh, citizens uh, don't trust anymore the political system is also a crisis of legitimacy of the current political and financial system and a crisis of representation, a crisis of the form of political parties but in particular there is a crisis of democracy which is about how we manage to rethink the relationship between citizens and the public institutions between the political power and people's power and so I think that the only antidote to right-wing populism or to the big leader that come to save us is a generally participatory and deliberative democracy that leverages digital te technology to integrate the collective intelligence of citizens into the decision-making process so this means devolving power to the citizens in the way we do politics and we think about the public institutions. On uh, 2018 Global Forum, we are so motivated that uh, uh, especially uh, what uh, Democracy International have been doing worldwide to, mo to promote democratic setting, especially for Africans, because we need it. We Africans need the democracy. Because most of our leaders, you know, they, in fact, they are, they are just politicians. They are politic, politic, not politicians. So that is why we, as an organization, a you know, government organization, so we need to come and exploit all this uh, opportunity so that we can go back home and let them know what we have experienced from Democra uh, Democracy International. So that is. Und was uns miteinander wahrscheinlich verbindet, das ist jedenfalls meine Wahrnehmung, was uns verbindet, ist eine Idee, nämlich die Idee der Demokratie direkt. Und damit meine ich Demokratie direkt nichts anderes erstmal als die Demokratie ins, äh, nicht im Selbst, sondern
Global Forum on Direct Democracy here in Rome has been an excellent opportunity to network and meet like-minded uh, people to work with and register parties around the world. I've met several people throughout, um, you know, all over the world and uh, it's truly been a blessing to come here and a great decision. It is very important to, to make global forums like this one and to have uh, organizations such as uh, uh, Democracy International because um, people always ask me in, in the interviews what is the biggest challenge or the biggest difficulty for direct democracy and the only answer is politicians. If you ask anyone, anywhere, if they want if citizens want to make direct decisions and directly vote the laws and directly make the proposals, every, everywhere they're going to say yes. But if you ask politicians, they're going to start uh, giving excuses and putting uh, big problems and saying, well, this is very dangerous. So we need to talk a lot because there are the few and the more we talk, the more we realize how feasible and easy it is. crisis between institutions and citizens, um, I think we have to do two things at least. One is trust and in our days there is no trust without transparency so we have to work on transparency whether it's on the tools, whether it's open source e-voting and not just e-voting in a black box, whether it's it open budgeting and whatever we can do to be transparent to give citizens the information. And then citizens have to do something with that information, with that transparency. And there also, I think, authorities shouldn't just wait for them to, to act or even worse, to, to blame them not uh, that they don't vote. Or, and we have to empower them actively and try to, to really go to them and, and talk to citizens and even children at the same eye level and not patronizing them. And, and for that we have to start listening and then ideally co-create with citizens the solution to our problems. We need to accept uh, that the practice of participation are mixed and sometimes uh, when we see that people prefer to continue to protest instead of participating to participatory process, maybe we shape it in a bad way, the participatory process that they, people, they do not feel at ease in them or they feel driven uh, by someone else uh, or they feel that there will be no consequences so we must feed uh, um, the trust uh, and from an institutional point of view this means to give a lot of uh, serious thinking about uh, how to implement uh, fast and well communicate uh, what we have been doing after a process of participation al destino delle nostre comunità porta a una frustrazione. Il meccanismo è questo, quando dei cittadini di una comunità non si sentono partecipi del futuro di quella comunità, i protagonisti di quel futuro, non si riconoscono più nella comunità stessa e perdono fiducia nella comunità e negli altri suoi membri. E quando un gruppo di persone, una comunità, non ha fiducia in se stessa, è destinata alla crisi. We are a group of journalists, scholars, activists, officials, citizens, very much interested in local democracy, direct democracy, and participation. 
But the world still sees democracy incorrectly, I would argue, as primarily a national enterprise. When someone asks you whether you live in a democracy, they're probably asking you whether your country is in democracy, not whether your city is one. Here in the city of Rome, they've asked us to come up with a Magna Carta. And that's the phrase that I guess was used because Roman politicians are a little like Hollywood studio executives. They love to look to raise the expectations. Um, and so this Magna Carta puts cities, not nations, at the heart of the question, do you live in a democracy? This is a significant shift in thinking from the national local. We will make the first draft of this Magna Carta from your ideas, your questions, and your shared experiences. We will draft the document from the discussion and inputs we hear at the forum. And then on Saturday, the forum Forum attendees will edit and produce a first draft to send out into the world. This Magna Carta seeks to explain what it means to be a democracy city. That is a city committed to greater and more direct democracy and participation. And we hope this document will form the basis for a new international league of democracy cities.